Good morning. Welcome to the morning forecast discussion for December 8th, 2011. And of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. It is clearly much colder today than it was yesterday. Yesterday, we were in the upper 50s to lower 60s at this time at 8.30 a.m. And now we are basically holding steady in the upper 20s to mid 30s. Clearly much colder than what we were experiencing by let's say about 30 degrees or so, anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees colder than what we were yesterday morning. As our new polar air mass is building in, as you can see, winds are ranging anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it actually feels like it's in the mid 20s to lower 30s. So it's uh, certainly a much colder morning for much of the New York City and Philadelphia metropolitan area. The good news is that the snow and rain is gone. Taking a look at the radar real fast, uh, again, see, we have no precipitation at all in the New York City or Philadelphia metropolitan area. There's our storm rapidly exiting out into the Canadian Maritimes. It actually moved a little bit faster than I thought it was going to. It really booked last night. It was very impressive as far as how fast it moved. This right here is called Lake Effect Snow. Cold air is coming off of Lake Ontario, moving right over my old college town, Oswego, where they're getting some light to moderate snow. That will not reach the northern Atlantic, so don't worry about this. This will just remain over the uh, eastern Great Lakes and not create much in the way of problems. Could be a stray flurry for northeastern Pennsylvania, though. Lake taking a look at the surface map there's our low pressure system down to 986 millibars very impressive now you see how all these lines are packed these isobars that means that we're having a very strong pressure gradient over the northern atlantic and that is going to lead to some windy conditions until about this afternoon I'm ranging anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour producing a rather nice wind chill anywhere in the mid 20s to lower 30s However, by later on this afternoon, especially as we head towards 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, those winds will really slacken off and will fall back to about 5 to 15 miles per hour by this evening as high pressure builds in. Taking a look at the infrared satellite picture, you see our storm rapidly departing and exiting out into the Canadian Maritimes. We have a polar cold front and then an Arctic cold front. Now behind this cold front, there is some really cold air. You could tell because this is not all cloud cover. This is actually the temperatures at the surface uh, where temperatures are so cold that they're actually uh, picking up on the infrared satellite picture. And you could tell that because this isn't really moving all that much, but you can see this is. So these are the clouds. This is the actual ground temperature. That's how cold this air mass is. Very impressive for this time of year. So, as you can see, high pressure is going to be in control for today and remain in control through Saturday morning. This Arctic cold front will swing on through, but I don't expect much in the way of any uh, showers or anything of that nature. Generally, just sky clouds with a few isolated showers over portions of central New York and New England. Otherwise, what we all expect from that cold front on Saturday night is a reinforcing shot of this polar air mass that will keep us near to slightly below normal for the next few days. Taking a look at the European model guidance, again for tonight, high pressure will be in control, winds will slacken off, temperatures will fall into the mid 20s to lower 30s for lows. Watch out for a little bit of black ice tomorrow morning, that could be a problem for some locations. Moving in through the weekend, again, high pressure and control, not much in the way of an impact. There's our cold front moving through on uh, Saturday night. By Sunday morning, high pressure will be in control once again with very chilly conditions. We're talking about highs in the 40s. Now, we've been used to the 50s to lower 60s, so it's going to feel a lot colder than what it really is because we're just not used to it. But uh, over the next few days, we will be back pretty much to where we should be for this time of year, where temperatures are in the 40s. Now, one point I want to make here, on the operational guidance towards the middle of next week, there's a little bit of a push of warmer air, and some of the operational model guidance is suggesting a warm-up. However, when we look at the ensemble model guidance, which is basically um, different models of the same like the European but placed with uh, different factors involved in the European guidance to see if there's a different outcome and basically the majority of the models are suggesting a colder 
basically environment than what we're seeing here for Tuesday. So I kept us in the 40s for the most part uh, through this entire forecast period, uh, which is basically keeping us near normal. And then as we move towards the middle of next week, I'm expecting high pressure to remain controlled, basically a tranquil weather conditions throughout the forecast period, but remaining basically near normal for this time of year. We have to keep an eye on this storm as it could pull down a rather impressive Arctic air mass as it drives up towards the St. Lawrence River Valley next week. That is your morning forecast discussion for December 8th, 2011. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. As always, you can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.